Hey guys, Mike Mu here. Today I'm going to unbox the EcoFlow Wave portable air conditioner. This is the first non-sponsored video about this product on YouTube. Stay tuned. The EcoFlow Wave comes in this big box and mine came up from LA. So I definitely am one of the first backers of the UC, this unit, which is why I'm the first unboxing that you'll see here on YouTube. That is uh, of the full package that you're gonna get if you did back this on the, uh, on, on the campaign or do the pre-order. This unfortunately is very uh, pricey. And um, basically because this is the most powerful portable air conditioner that can run off of a decent sized battery pack. You can opt to get this with a battery pack or without a battery pack and that does increase or decrease the price tremendously uh, depending on your needs. Now, if you're interested in getting something like this, uh, you're gonna have some options. One of them is you're gonna, you can choose a battery pack that was designed specifically for the EcoFlow. I believe that's $500 separately, or you can just go ahead and opt to use just the AC and power this off of whatever battery or power source that you have while you're outdoors. Now, this is primarily designed to be used while outdoors, but because it's portable, you can use it just about anywhere. Just keep in mind that this maxes out at 4,000 BTU. Now, as you can see, this was designed and uh, sold by EcoFlow, and they sell a lot of battery packs that could work with this. There are two battery packs that EcoFlow sells. There's the Pro and the Max that you can use with this, and that will have enough power and capacity to use it in a reasonable uh, setting like in terms of fan speed, uh, in terms of duration of cooling, and in terms of uh, the capacity that it's able to uh, get from the battery pack, right? So we have this regular power cord. Now, this might look like you can use a regular one, but there's this is actually, it looks apparently a GFCI type of outlet, which is particularly special because you wanna do that to protect it from uh, surges and from overdrawing too much electricity. So that's that. Then on top here, we got the dual vent hose mount, one for intake and one for exhausting. This side is for exhausting the hot air. This is for intake of the cooler air. And I'll have dimensions on that on the screen. And we got this little hose adapter because naturally you're gonna want a window to get the most use out of this. This foam is well formed and sturdy and definitely reusable. So uh, I would not recommend tossing this just yet when you first get your EcoFlow. And then down here we have the main EcoFlow unit. Now this is a beast of a unit uh, because it's 4,000 BTU, which is over twice as much as the competition at this point in time in 2022. Uh, you'll want to get some help getting this out because it's around like 50 pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, pull this out carefully. Okay, not as bad as I thought because there's actually two handles. One over here on this side near the rear and over here there's another one over here. So that actually helps out pretty well. Now I wish they had one up top, but they don't. I think uh, I think having a flat surface might be useful for uh, various reasons, but um, the fact that there's two of them, one in the front, one in the back is, is really nice and pretty helpful. Now looking at the front of the unit itself, you can see this big giant grill. This gives you some indication of just how much cooling power and capacity this is designed to be. Now, if you look at some third party competitors that are being sold right now, you'll see that they have a relatively small profile, relatively small opening in here. So you have actually less cooling capacity than something of this. Of course, this is the max that you can get right now. Um, I believe, now don't quote me on this one, but someone's gonna come up and, and just make something even bigger than this. But um, I think that really when you're traveling, this is about the size that you want. It's about the size of a, of a small uh, cooler of maybe, you know, um, that you, the, about the size of, of something that someone might reasonably want to carry around. So I suppose that makes sense. Still, I do believe it would have been nice to have a little handle up top. As you can see right here, it says EcoFlow is fully committed environmental protection. 
little typo there. Through its products, processes, and practices, this product is manufactured using a spray-free process, which creates a unique aesthetic pattern on a product surface. So if you're looking around, if you see some imperfections, which I don't really see that many imperfections, but the spray process looks okay. They're just letting you know that, look, there's a little bit of imperfection over there. And I guess when you do something like that, um, it's more ecologically friendly, and I suppose that makes sense. Now, just like most air conditioners, you wanna avoid tilting or laying the unit on the side, and if you do, you usually wanna let it sit for a bit before turning it on. Avoid sitting on or placing heavy objects on the unit. So see, that's where the grab handle would've been perfectly fine, would discourage people from doing it. And if unit is knocked over or tilted, let it stand for 30 minutes before turning on the machine. And that's generally something that you're gonna wanna do with every single uh, Freon or type of based AC unit because it, you really need to have the, uh, the Freon and fluids uh, be properly stabilized to get the maximum performance. Now there's four different buttons, a little bit hard to see here. As you can see, there's a mode dial. Here's a uh, temperature setting. I believe this lets you set the, um, you, if you hold it down, I believe it also lets you set Fahrenheit and Celsius. And we got a little timer and we got a standard power on off, off button. Then we have what looks and appears to be like a car ventilation type of fan system here. Now it just does up and down. It doesn't do left or right, but you know what? In a lot of other uh, third party portable type of machines, this one actually has bigger vents. And I do believe that because you have the, the fast, the big giant radiator grill intake over here and a nice big fan opening, you're gonna get a pretty decent fan power out of here. This is of course where the screen is gonna be. It's got a nice smooth feel for the rotation for the interface uh, to adjust settings. Maybe when I press the button over here to set the timer, then I rotate it. Um, the, it's, it's easily the best interface that I've seen so far. Over here, we have a little QR code. I believe you scanned that. You get a little, you get to download the app, which you'll want to use and download and update the firmware when you get it. Now, moving around back, we have right here, this is the um, exhaust. Okay, so the exhaust is nice and flat here. You want to exhaust the hot air out this way. That's better designed. And then the, the cool air will then come in probably through down here once I once I have the, the thing fit. But it's got a nice beefy handle. And this is this is definitely enough to handle a unit of this weight class and capacity. Over here on this side is where if you get a special battery pack, um, you can go ahead and plug that in through their special proprietary type of connector down here. I believe it's a proprietary because I've never seen it before but it could be an industry standard type of connector, but I believe it's proprietary. And I don't know if that's included in here, but it may or may not be. Then you got the regular Molex type input over here, and you also have a little solar slot over here in case you get the battery pack. Now this is a car input. It won't power directly from that. I believe that it's only for charging uh, the, uh, the battery pack that you may have connected on here. And I'm talking about the separate sled style battery that will go down below uh, the unit in typical use. And that's pretty much a, uh, it in terms of the exterior design, which actually looks very pleasant and looks like uh, this is something that would fit in a nice, uh, nice vehicle, for instance. Now at the very bottom of the box, we have the two hoses, one in, one, one within each other. There's a bigger one, there's a smaller one, and the smaller one is going to be used for the exhaust, and the bigger one outside is gonna be used for the intake. And I will have dimensions of this. I do believe if you need to extend this further, you can probably get extra parts for this, no problem, doesn't look too proprietary. And down here, we have the exhaust for the condensation of water. Now all AC units have condensation when you're in operation, and this is a hose that allows you to drain the water from the unit. This will go down right below, I'll pull it, pull it out over here. So below the unit over here, you'll just plug this in and let the water drain out. Now, obviously you can operate it safely without plugging this in, but sooner or later, you're going to need to plug this in to drain out some of the water. Now, my understanding is that EcoFlow designed it so that you get many, many hours of use in most cases well, here I'm in California, so I probably would get a lot of uses out of it before I need to drain out the water. But it's a good idea before you store it, put it away to drain out the water. Also, if you use it so long 
that there's so much water in there, the unit automatically protects itself and shut itself down and give you a little indicator to let you know to drain it before you continue using it. Okay, so that is everything that you get in a general basic EcoFlow Wave unit. Uh, let me know what you think. And if you are interested in this, uh, hopefully I'll have some links down below. And if I, if I don't, eventually I will. And Or if not, then um, I will share with you where you can go ahead and get it. I do believe that EcoFlow is still doing a pre-order of this right now. So if you're interested in getting this and you want to get ahead of whatever remaining heat we have this summer, you might want to go ahead and place your order in, especially if you're going to be outdoors a lot. All right, that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I will follow up with some further testing. There's a lot of testing out there already. So uh, what I may do is do some testing myself just to verify you know, what a lot has been said already about the unit. Uh, I can already tell you right now that just from the looks and the design of it, this is definitely going to be the one to uh, beat as far as portable air conditioners. Now, this will not replace a home air conditioner, so don't even try. Now, if you are in an apartment, that does not allow you to go ahead and install uh, air conditioners or anything, or you don't have uh, some sort of window unit or, or portable unit that makes sense. This might make sense, uh, but it's it's very pricey for a purpose like that. So 4,000 BTU unit, you can go and get one for like $89 right now. So you're looking at a tenfold increase in price for the portability. So in terms of uh, value, that doesn't really make sense. But if you're outdoors, uh, this is easily going to be the best one to beat right now. Like, you know, whether it's whether it's camping, you know, traveling you know, on the beach or somewhere or anywhere where it's really hot and, uh, and, and you just need some cooling. OK. Thanks for watching. I turned this up to maximum fan and it is easily more powerful 